All right, let's take our seats. Welcome to this evening's meeting. I appreciate everybody in attendance, in person and online. We're going to have a moment of silent prayer. It will be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. So if you would, please stand with me. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. All right, first order of business would be to conduct roll call. Commissioner Sana Gregory. Present, sir. Commissioner Gail Hambrick. Present. Commissioner Felicia Franklin Warner. I am present. Commissioner DeMont Davis. Present. Madam Clerk, all commissioners present and account for. Thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the November 3rd, 2020 Board of Commissioners meeting. Our first order of business is the adoption of the agenda. Do any members of the board have any amendments? Yes, I have something to add. It'd be a budget amendment. I'm asking that it be placed on the consent agenda. Um, this would be budget 4-8, budget amendment 4-8, item 40 on the agenda. And basically, um, it's to allocate additional SPLOS money to fund the NASA building uh, park improvements. Basically, the urgency to have it added is uh, we're working against time restraints and for if we're hoping to get the NASA building completed before the June or July date, uh, we need to get get the ball moon, moving sooner than later. That's my motion. Is there a second? Second. Properly moved and second. Any questions? Those in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Any aye. others? All right, hearing none, I entertain a motion to adopt the agenda. How much was that uh, line item you just put in, Mr. Chairman? Three million seven hundred and fifty thousand. Three million seven hundred and fifty thousand to do the parking lot? No, it's a uh, the Nassau building itself. The whole building has to come down because the slab itself is not uh, feasible for for it to be built upon. So we got to take down the whole building itself and build a new slab and a new building. Uh, that is. That is the point of entry for our internet, for the park itself, the water park. So it's imperative that we erect uh, a building in that space. So how long have they been working on that building again? They haven't been. They mm. removed everything out of it. We thought we were, going to, we were going to conduct renovations inside of the building. And then they started, when they started working on it, they found out the foundation was not stable. So it has to okay. come up. I'm clear. Thank you. All right. And this is under the current SPLOS, SPLOS. Uh, management team, more Atlas is managing it, and we've got to add a $3 million uh, task to be able to get this uh, a line item, get that done. Okay, I'm clear. Thank you for that clarification. Okay, no problem. Uh, those in favor, aye. We vote. Oh, we aye. Aye. Vote. Okay, okay, that was a vote. At, that was a, <laughs> she, she threw me, asking a question after, after the vote. Okay, she threw me. All right, no problem. Thank you. Well, you know, I have to unmute. I'm so sorry, y'all. That's no problem. Uh, any, uh, okay, that was for the. You were on the motion to adopt the. The agenda, agenda right? right? But no one made a motion yet. Okay, motion to adopt the agenda. I'll make the motion. <laughs> so moved, cool, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Second. Right. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Probably move to second. Those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, it's unanimous. Okay. Our <laughs> next order of business is the Veteran of the Month. All right, and let me just point out that this is Veterans uh, Day this month, and all our veterans are to be recognized. 
But we, let's not get into practice of just saying it's Veterans Day in November. Every day of the year should be Veterans Day and appreciation for all that they have given this country so we can have the liberties that we have. This month's Veteran of the Month will be, and she showed up. She is here today. So as I read this, I'm going to have you, ma'am, to come up front. And I know uh, we weren't expecting you, but we appreciate you coming anyway. Uh, of course, this is a different environment we're in with the COVID, but we're going to get some pictures and everything else with you uh, as soon as we're able to do so. So now nah, we want you to stand up front and face outward. There you go. All right. Master Sergeant Sparkle K. Adams dedicated 25 years of honorable and distinguished service to the United States Air Force and Air Force Reserves, retiring in 2006. Born in Chicago, Illinois, she entered the U.S. Air Force under the delayed enlistment program in September of 1974 and went to basic training in February of 1975 as an air traffic controller. After finishing basic training at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, she entered into the Air Force Reserves in March of 1981 as an air cargo specialist in the 79th and 80th Aerial Port Squadron, squadron at Dobbins Air Force Base, Georgia. Retired Master Sergeant Adams worked as a hazardous cargo specialist for 12 years, supervising a flight of six personnel for two years. Master Sergeant Adams served as a career-focused manager teaching classes and given individual lessons on job search skills, skills assessment, resume writing, and interviewing. She continued in this capacity for seven years while serving on numerous boards and assuming additional duties as unit career advisor in the 94th MSSQ for three years. During her military career, Master Sergeant Adams served as an air, air traffic controller on active duty directing the movement of aircraft in the radar unit. In November 2005, Sparkle K. Adams was the first African American to be elected to the city council in the city of Forest Park, Georgia. In 2008, Adams was appointed as mayor pro temp of Forest Park by unanimous vote. She was reelected to the city council and as mayor pro temp in 2009, and she briefly served as interim mayor 2012 through 2013. Her major military awards and decorations, 2000 Meritor Meritorious uh, Service, 1998 Meritorious Service, 1996 Achievement Medal, 1995 NCO of the Year, 1994 NCO of the Quarter, and 1993 Mer Meritorious uh, Service again. Her affiliations, or at least some of them, are, is walking in authority to team council. She's the executive director and the Atlanta Metro Chapter National Association of Black Military Women, and she is the president of that organization. She also has, in addition to that, she has received 13 additional civilian awards and recognitions. Please help me recognize Master Sergeant Sparkle K. Adams. Thank you again, Sparkle, for your service and all that you continue to do here in Clayton County because you are still engaged and a vital part of our community. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I appreciate your support and encouragement throughout this year. It really, really means a lot. And I couldn't do it without you. I understand. <laughs> It's, it's a teamwork, make the dream work, right? Yes, well, uh, Miss uh, Strauder with the senior service will get you uh, your plaque and other things. So we will make sure that it comes to you and then we will get together and have Thank some you. photographs. All right. All right? Thank you. All right, ma'am. Thank you for coming. The board will now hear public comments. Citizens will be given three minutes maximum time limit to speak with a total of 30 minutes before the Board of Commissioners. State your name and county of residency for the record. Speak clearly into the microphone and speakers should be courteous, respectful, and not make any disparatory remarks or use abusive language when addressing the board. Orlando Good.
since there's only two names on the sheet, do we get 15 minutes? No, sir. <laughs> Good try, though. You have not because you asked. Ask. Ask. Okay. I'm not mad at you. <laughs> Orlando Good and Clayton County. I want to thank the vendors and all that participated in the Faith in Blue event Saturday, October 10th. It was well organized. Chief Roberts and his deputy chiefs did a great job. I went to see the new mobile command vehicle, but I also got a large box full of food that I had a friend distribute to seniors in need. I want to acknowledge two additional food distribution events that were held on Saturday, October 24th by Valencia Stovall and later that day by Chairman Turner and <coughs> Commissioner Davis. I watched the work session on October 13th and the presentation of the Capital Outlay Program by Ben Hopkins, Director of Building and Maintenance. I was impressed with the explanation of the program, but it was long overdue in terms of controlling project cost and productivity. It would have been beneficial for me, instead of having to wait two years to get the Aquatic Center clean, sanitized, and painted. If you're not going to maintain them, then why build them? Having a project manager to oversee specific building repairs and new construction is a step in the right direction. Let me clarify my comments about the funding the police. I did not mean to suggest that you would entertain the concept of defunding the police, but only to point out the benefits of having a safer county. This is a pillar in your plans for economic development. Benefiting from cities like New York, Chicago, Philadelphia, Detroit, and Baltimore that have seen an increase in crime and a mass exodus of their people. Take advantage of this opportunity by giving additional funding to the police department because they are the guardians of our community and that is the right thing to do. I don't understand why some commissioners ask a potential business person if they're going to hire from within the county. The problem with that is your Director of Community Development, Patrick Ajike, does not live in the county. Take a look at this Board of Education organization chart. There are 50, name, 50 boxes with 80 names. How many of them live in the county? Gwinnett has 16 boxes. Why is it the Board of Commissioners never asked Superintendent Dr. Beasley that question? Could it be because his hiring is based on nepotism and cronyism? And you and I had a conversation about the property at Tower Boulevard in Old Dixie. That was the Holiday Inn, Magnolia Hotel, Waffle House, Benefield Sports Bar. Since Commissioner Edmondson, Hamburg, and Gregory voted, the per voted down the purchase by Ref Red Roof Plus, the hotel chain, it is now nothing but an abandoned property and an eyesore to the county. I hope that item number 31 on your consent agenda addresses that issue. Your time is up, sir. Thank you. Mickey well, I Garber. I was finished. Huh? I was finished. Okay. Well, you timed it out perfectly then. <laughs> Mickey Garber. Scarber, I just want to know how you found a mask that looked just like you. I had to, had to search far and wide. <laughs> sir, may I take my mask yes, off yes, to sir. speak? <clears throat> Madam Clerk, Mickey Garber, unincorporated Rex, Georgia. <clears throat> I would like to take this time to thank all my fellow Clayton Countyans who were eligible to vote for voting. I would like to thank all my fellow Georgians for voting. Thank, thank all my fellow Americans for voting. Not so much to make us great again, but to show the world that we are as great as we have ever been. And our experiment in democracy is as strong as ever. 
Furthermore, I would like to thank the poll workers at the church at 42 and Lake Harbin Road, which is my precinct, for their work in supporting our democracy and making my vote possible. And all poll workers throughout our great state and our great nation for this great day. I thank God and all the people in this great nation for making this day possible. I am Mickey Garber and I support this statement. Are there any questions? No questions but a statement, thank you. Thank, thank you for acknowledging our poll workers and those men and women who are working hard to make sure that there is a smooth uh, transaction that's happening at our polling locations. They're working hard. The director and her staff is doing a tremendous job, and I appreciate you pointing in that out. And I noticed it, sir, and I want everybody else to notice it. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Madam Clerk, that concludes public comment. Next, the board will entertain the consent agenda, consent items. All right, so a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. Are there any questions on any of the items? Who made the motion? That was Commissioner Gregory. Thank you. All right, hearing none, those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. The next item is a board appointment. All right, the first board appointment is, well, there's only one, a yes. board appointment for the Behavior, Health, and Developmental Disabilities Region 3 Advisory Council. This is Commissioner Habert's vote. Uh, the sitting board member is Jody Chambers. Her term will expire on November 30th, 2020. This, the new term will begin November 30th, 2020, will expire. November 30th of 2023. Commissioner Habert, you have a recommendation. Uh, Mr. Chairman, can we hold that? Okay, uh, Madam Clerk, hold that. Uh, next meeting will be sufficient time for you, Commissioner. Um, not sure, let's just say the first meeting in uh, December. Madam Clerk, you clear? Yes. All right, Mr. Reed. December 1st. Uh, uh, short, very short, that executive session on litigation. Litigation? Only. Okay. All right, is there a motion to go into executive session for litigation? I'll make the motion. Is there a second? Second. Properly moved and second. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Who, who was the name? <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> did that to be different. Which one of y'all did that? <laughs> Commissioner Warner. God, this Warner voting said, night. This can't wait till next week. Uh, no, ma'am. It won't Reed. take but a minute. He promised. Mm. So it's mm. four to one. It passes. <laughs> <laughs> he promised us now. Right, Chuck? Very short. Okay, all right. Let's do it. All right. <sighs> Commissioner Sonna Gregory. Yes. Commissioner Gail Hamburg. Here. Commissioner Felicia yes. Franklin Warner. I'm present. Commissioner Davis. Present. All present and accounted for, uh, Mr. Reed. All right, I have a um, settlement agreement. Wait a minute, we have to take a motion to reconvene. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll get ahead. Motion to our, is there a motion to reconvene? So moved. I'll second, those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed, it's unanimous. Mr. Reed. All right, um, I have a settlement agreement in the matter of Robin Givens versus Clayton County and others. Uh, related to an accident that occurred on September 13, 2019 at Roy Huey Road and Valley Dale Drive in Clayton County. Um, the amount is $9,000. Um, and I do have an executed settlement agreement for that amount. Is there a motion? So, so moved, Mr. Chair. Is there a second? Second. Any questions? Hearing none, those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? It's unanimous. Motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved, Mr. Chair. Uh, second. second. Commissioner Davis second the motion. Commissioner Franklin Warner made the motion. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed. It's unanimous. Have a good evening. God bless. <laughs>